It's an early spring morning. We had frost during the night. And today we're gonna try to catch uh, some big perch in the Swedish archipelago. Uh, we're gonna use soft baits, soft plastics, and see what they like. You never know when you go out uh, what lure is gonna be the best one. Every day is different. It could be the bull tees, it could be creek crawl, hyper tees, ring tees. So you need a good uh, set of different soft lures with different action and different colors because you never know what's gonna work that day. Every day is different. Okay, Jürgen, are you ready? Let's go. Let's catch them. <laughs> Bam. Well, yeah. <laughs> finally a bite. Good, 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 Jürgen. It's not a monster, but it's the first one. It's a decent one. Oh, it's a good fish. Yeah, it's a good fish. First one. What a lovely creature. Look at the colors on this fish. Look at the colors. You can see it, they have worms. They're still inactive. You can see they have worms on their body. They're standing a lot on the bottom still. Bull teeth, bass orange, did the trick. Not surprise, no surprise to me. That would be a fish, what do you think, 1.3? Yeah, probably. 1.3 kilo, yeah. gonna release her. This is how it should uh, look when you're using an offset hook, when I push away the lure to get hooked by the hook. This is the way it looks when you're fishing. So there's nothing to catch weed. And when a fish strikes, and you strike, they push away the lure so they get hooked. The hook is hidden in that slot in the back. It slides away very easy when you get a bite. Let's catch another one. So far the fishing has been quite slow, but it's, it's uh, pretty normal. They have uh, quite uh, distinct feeding periods. Can be dead for one or two hours and then suddenly they start to feed. We're swapping around, trying different lures at the moment. All the lures have uh, one thing in common. They're easy to rig with an offset hook, so we can fish them in the weed. Just try to find something they, they want to bite. Yes. Got another bite. Feels good, this one. Goes to the side, it's a good sign. Let's see what it is. See, it goes to the side. It's a good sign when they do that. Oh, it feels like a good fish. See it's swimming side to side. It's a strong fish. Ooh. Whoa. Really strong fish. It's a good fish, huh? It's another beautiful perch. Maybe a little bit bigger than the other one. Yeah. What do you think? 1.4? Something oh, like that. I think, I think that is uh, uh, 1.5. Maybe even bigger. Yeah. Yeah, well, not 1.5. You see, they have, all of them have worms. That's a sign that they're quite inactive and standing a lot on the bottom when they have these uh, worms on them. Fantastic fish.
Yes. <laughs> Got another one. Good one. Ah, uh, not so big. I don't think so. It's difficult to say. He's growing. He's growing. Strong. Yeah. He's feisty. Strong guy. <laughs> what a stunning fish. Bull tease again. Dirty harbor. Another little football. Yeah, 1.2, 1.3. Yeah. They're so magnific magnificent, these fish. Absolutely perfect. And again, they have worms. All of them have worms. So they are not so active at the moment. They are standing a lot on the bottom. You can see they have worms on the fins also. Gonna release her. Goodbye. It's like a good one. They're all good, huh? Yeah. Double strike. Oi. Close to the boat, huh? Yeah. Take two in the net. It's a big one. Yeah, it's a big one. Double trouble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way to do it, Mr. Dayan. Here is a big perch for you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> If you're happy with that. Look at this belly. And here is another one. What a pair, huh? That's the biggest uh, today. Biggest fish today. Not too bad, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Caught mine and on the, the Bultis uh, Dirty Harbor. And surprise! Bultis again. <laughs> Bultis again. Bass, Bass orange. orange. We put them in the net and we're gonna weigh uh, the biggest one so they can recover. We're gonna weigh uh, the biggest fish and we use a uh, normal plastic bag that we wet first. And then we zero the scales, so we get the correct weight. I think it's this one. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's not so long, so we... 45, 44. Now we're gonna see how... It, it, it's not as big as we thought, maybe 1.5, 1 1.6. Yeah. Uh, not as big as we thought, 1.42, oh. 43. Yeah, but still a, still a beautiful and, go, and a good perch. Absolutely, beautiful perch. Yeah, uh, we're gonna put this uh, beautiful perch back. Uh, as we told you, we, I took it on uh, bull uh, in the color bass orange uh, and let her go back and grow. Nice fish, huh? Yeah. For this uh, fishing, we're using uh, really light jig heads, like three, three and a half to five grams uh, for our fishing. And it's uh, because the heavier jig head you have, the more weed it will catch. So if you can fish really light with uh, three and a half or five gram jig heads, it's not collecting so much weed. Then we're using uh, light rods. This is the W6 uh, TNC, 5 to 15 gram. It's a 
perfect rod for this kind of fishing and it's really all round you can use it for most me most uh, methods you can use it for casting soft plastics you can use it for casting small crankbaits you can use it for carolina and texas fishing if you like that so it's really really versatile rod for this kind of fishing and it's so light, uh, light and sensitive also so it's a uh, pure magic to fish with this rod in combination with a light uh, spinning reel and a, a thin braid 0.10 0.12 you're normally using and then a trace of fluorocarbon I'm using a 0.35 millimeter fluorocarbon about 60 70 centimeter close to the to the lure to protect against uh, weed and stuff and also if you get a pike so it's a very basic and simple setup really but it works fine Yes, I tried another lure, the hypotease, the 9 centimeter hypotease. Can be very good when it's cold in the water and the perch are tricky. And it paid off. A good fish. Same size like the others. Yep. Uh, maybe I can take it. It's a good fish. Maybe the yeah. big, biggest the today. Biggest today. Or are we just excited? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a look before I say anything. Oh, it's the big, biggest today. Good fish. Yeah. The hypotes. What a tank. Ah, they, this is the biggest fish today, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yes. It took uh, the hypothesis really hard. This is a big, heavy female. A fat one. Yeah, I'm gonna unhook it. See how big it is. I put it in the net so we can rest for a while. What a magnificent fish, only 45 centimeter and 1.7 kilo. It took a nine centimeter hypothesis in the color Dirty Harbor. We gotta release her now. What a beautiful fish. Goodbye. Super fish. Yeah, Four, 45. 45. Yeah. Centimeters. Very heavy for that weight. That's uh, for that length. Yeah, and that's a, that's a good condition. Really high and fat fish. Beautiful female. The hypothesis is uh, one of our absolute favorite lures when fishing in cold water conditions, uh, especially in the autumn and winter for some reason. In the spring, it's not that dominating, but it can work. Uh, as you see in the spring also. So it's a really, really good lure to fish slow in these shallow waters when, when uh, the water is cold and the perch are tricky. Finally got a perch on the Cree Crow. The creature bait, so it is possible to catch them on other lures than bull tees. I think it's, it's the smallest today, but the colors are crazy. Fantastic colors on the creek or creature bait. Wow. Check out that belly. Wow. <laughs> creek raw. What a beautiful fish. Absolutely perfect. Another beautiful bull tease eater. Check
check the colors on this one. Wow. Bye -bye. Yes, must be Pike. Both these, Pike really liked them too. I got another fish here. I tried a, a 10 centimeter shad tease just to try something different. And uh, that was the solution. Aha, uh -huh, beautiful. Nice colors again. Yeah. Check the colors, they are crazy. They're so beautiful. 10 centimeter shad tees, slim, dirty harbor color. All right, we're gonna take a look at the lures that we've used today and the lures that normally produce a lot of fish uh, during these conditions. We have the eight and a half centimeter creek crawl. We have uh, the nine and a half centimeter bull tees. We have the 10 centimeter shad tees slim. We have the 10 centimeter ring tees CT. And we have the nine centimeter hypo tees. And all these lures have one thing in common. They're perfect for offset rigging. And that's why we use them in these con conditions, because we're fishing in a very shallow base, normally one to two meters depth. It's a lot of weed, old weed that has died during the winter and r start to rot and, and fall down a little bit. So if you don't have these uh, offset hooks, it's almost impossible to fish uh, in these uh, places. Often we're fishing around and inside old weed beds. So if you have a normal jig head you will catch weed all the time. So by using offset hooks and rigging them like this we can fish these places uh, without uh, too much hassle. I'm using uh, a jig head from, uh, from Decoy and also a jig head from uh, Elex. These two are brilliant for, uh, for rigging uh, soft plastics. Another thing that's important is to fish light, as light as possible. We normally use uh, jig heads in a weight of three and a half or five grams. Uh, if it's windy, it can be tricky to fish really light. So, so as light as possible, uh, depending on the conditions. And by using as light jig heads as possible, we get less weed uh, collecting on, on the lures. The lighter jig head you can get away with, the better you can fish uh, without catching weed all the time. That's basically how, how we fish uh, this uh, shallow uh, base on the east coast of Sweden during spring and, and uh, also late, win late uh, autumn and winter when it's cold. Uh, that's the way we uh, fish, fish for this big perch. And also, the colder in the water, the slower you need to fish. That's also why it's important to have light jig heads, so the drop is as slow as possible, because that's when they normally take the lure. So light jig heads, slow fishing, that's the trick to be successful in, in these conditions when the water temperature is low. I put on a creek crawl and first cast I got a bite again. A creek crawl. A little guy. A little guy, but he's beautiful. Another beautiful fish on the creek crawl. And again, you see they have worms. Here on the tail. Look at this one, Diane. Here on the fins. It's, it's a very clear sign that they're not so active when they have this many worms on them. And we can see that on the fishing also. We have really have to work for every fish. But we've caught, we've caught fish on many different lures today. Yeah. Bull tees, creek craw. Shad tees, hypotees. So we've we've caught uh, 
caught them on many different lures. The gun better go now. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, it's been a great day, but it's been uh, quite uh, tough fishing. Yeah. We have to yeah. wor work hard for every fish. They, they didn't come easy today. No, they didn't. There was, there was no uh, proper feeding period. It was like one fish now and one fish now. Yeah. Maybe two bite, missed, missed fish. and. But uh, yeah, we worked hard and we had a lot of uh, good sized fish and uh, many beautiful perch. Yeah. Some yeah. of them were fantastic. Uh, and the average weight was, uh, was good. really, really good. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the most fun that uh, was the, that you could you could work hard and you get... Uh, and we did uh, work hard. <laughs> and, and you get paid for it because yeah. changing lures, trying different lures, new colors, you got a fish. Another lure, another color, a new fish. Yeah. So, so it, it paid off to work hard, and, and it often does when when uh, when, when the fish, yeah, yeah, yeah. when the fishing is like this. You you have to work hard, and yeah. they don't come easy. But if you work hard, you get uh, you get re rewarded for 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 it. That's true. So I think it's been a it's been a fun day. Yeah, well, a bit tri tricky, but uh, a good day. At the Absolutely. end, at the end, yeah. a good day. Yeah. And. Uh, as I said, it's always fun when you catch fish on many different lures, and yeah, you get rewarded for the hard work. That's uh, that feels good. So I think we had a great day, and it's it's perch fishing. It changes all the time. One day is good, the next day is difficult. So it's it's every day is different. That's yeah. that's the only thing you know yeah, from that, that from before. Sure. Every day is different. Yeah. You can have fantastic fishing one day. And the only thing you know, the day after will not be fantastic. It changes yeah. all the time. So that's uh, you have to be very flexible when you're fishing for perch and try out methods, search for the fish, and, and uh, work hard, and you you get rewarded. That's the the best uh, message I can give you, I think. So please give us a thumb up and subscribe to the channel, and see you again soon.